go the motion man on second down at the 36. Trying to find some running room for Gordon. And he's just shy of the 40-yard line. Stopped by Jordan Johnson. Especially in the fourth quarter when they were trying to wind down the clock. It's Melvin Gordon, the single setback for the Badgers. Just shy of the 25-yard line. Gordon to carry. And Gordon able to push forward to the 20. Eight yard line, Marty Jones on the tackle. This offensive lineman, he had his center, Dallas Lou Allen, coming around the corner pulling. You see Allen, number 73, Lou Allen, excuse me, 73, going right through the hole. That's the situation. Second down and five. Gordon again, breaking a tackle. Gordon. James Hughley saves the touchdown after Gordon got loose. Got to give credit to Hughley with taking a proper pursuit angle. We didn't, we said that there's not too many people that are going to catch Melvin Gordon once he gets into the open field. But Hughley, you'll see him coming from the right hand side of your screen, takes a good pursuit angle, is able to at least get Melvin Gordon on to give his defense a chance to slow down. Late night last night. I'm just saying. Of studying. Exactly. Late night of studying. Exactly. Off the right foot. Gordon up the middle. And down to the 26-yard line. Good trio of terrific backs. Not to mention a wide receiver is one of the best in college football. Here's Gordon. Bouncing off to the outside. A first down and out of bounds at the 31. Creative look, Kevin, a 13 personnel, which is one back, three tight ends in the ball game. Again, Derek Watt not playing, so they're going to try to get a little creative on offense. They end up going towards the two tight ends. Second down and three. Gordon, first down into Tennessee Tech territory at the 45-yard line. Move the chain. Purdue for the last few years, he said that they're going to play a lot of players to try to keep them fresh. Royce. First down and 10. Gordon the carry. And Gordon stood up at the 26-yard line. Four-yard gain. From First down and 10 at the 37-yard line. Up the middle for Gordon. Gordon bounces. You, this young man is fun to watch when he gets in the open field again I love the patience that he shows in the run game but then watch the long strider that's what is so impressive to me at six foot one almost runs a little bit like he's the Melbourne Gordon that's so easy to see why Wisconsin was so excited about him last year and how he really came out of the scene especially in the Big Ten Championship last year just looks like he's been playing college football for three or four years last game but when they're blocking downfield that's where the explosive plays come from there's Gordon. Fights forward for the first down. That balance again to the 10-yard line. Malcolm Mitchell with the tackle, and then Malcolm Mitchell. Situation, I think both teams are getting a little winded. Here's Kenzel Doe again talking about blocking downfield. You can see right away, it looks like, looks like he might have got stepped on or put his foot in the turf the wrong way and came out of the pile limping a little bit. Mm. He was calling immediately for it. Doe's right there, bumped into by Jay Rudwall. But it looked like he had pulled up right before.